Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. It's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now... Before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. than your room? Ollie pinched me smalls. Where bloomers? Still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. Wasted doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? Never slapped, spanked, more like. 
The sand man coming in his chain of cars, with moonbeam windows and with wheels of stars. So hush, you little ones, and have no fear. A man in the moon, he is the engineer. Afraid? Now, where has that cat gone? Following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kinda remember her name? What I heard. Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing.
very upsetting journey. But I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. consistency, but poisonous. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. God, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Quite. Forests for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole.